please come out to the open here. Dr. Alfred Onwa, a medical practitioner, consultant, of ophthalmic surgeon. We're happy tonight that uh, the testifier, Ijoma Elem, had precipitate labor, just of one hour duration. She had this pregnancy and the labor started this evening and by the grace of God, in knowledge hospital and praise the Lord. Let him testify by herself now. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am so so happy over glad. It just happened this evening. But before I say anything, my name is Brother Elim, Elma Keze, Elimbo uh, District, Origwe Old Group. While the choir administration was going on, the praise and worship, I was just busy rejoicing and uh, clapping. You are big, 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 big. You are great, great, great. I didn't know what was happening beside me again. Only for me to hear a tap at my hip pocket. My wife was telling me, I am not okay. I said, you are okay. I said, you are okay. I said, as long as you are inside this place, the power will get to you. I while she was now saying, I'm serious, I'm serious. I said, me too, I am serious. <laughs> and not, not too long, while the lead singer was saying, was going on. I now looked at her, I said, this is more than to be careful. Luckily, I now saw my sister. She just passed by. I just excused myself for a while, and I called her. I said, sister, you are a woman. She's a woman. Take good care of her while I'm busy singing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just busy singing. She now ran, and they went to call somebody. They now went to the welfare. They went to the, she walked down from where there, that opens the field. She went, she, they walked down from there and they went to the welfare. Only for me to see that uh, what is happening? An ambulance, my wife in an ambulance. I said, uh, are you okay? I said, I'm, I, I am waiting for the children to come so I can hand over our things to them so they won't, so they won't look for us after the GS administration. She said, everything is okay. Do you believe that as they just left not too long the Pakistan uh, uh, administration was going on, I was not comfortable anymore. My wife has gone. I said, no, let me go look for the children myself. I went to the children's church. Before I could come out from the children's church, I now got a call from her. And she said, bring, go to the house, bring the bag, bring the bag. I said, where are you? <laughs> The summary of the whole thing is this. The ambulance had not gotten to Eneka Primary Healthcare there. Right inside the ambulance. They just came out from the gate, from the exit gate. Right inside the ambulance, she gave birth to a baby boy. I couldn't... <laughs> Brethren, I couldn't... Uh, I Look at her, she's... She is as though she never gave, she, as though she never gave, uh, gave birth. Praise the I Lord. am so happy, and I said, I will return all the glory to God tonight. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She had, now, she had little thing to say. God bless you. Okay, just. I just want to appreciate God. He has really proven himself big in my life. I want to return all glory to him. It is only by him that this is made possible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, just take them to the clinic so that they will do all necessary things there. It is where with the baby, it's where we far. Let's give praises to the Lord in Jesus' name. The next testifier is Sonny Elemaya, who has been blind for about 20 years duration. But tonight, I said tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, our pastor and general pretender, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the blind eyes opened. Tell us your testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By name, I am Sonny Elemeya, a citizen of River State under Onega, about a Bandoni local government. Um, I'm, I was a, a member of this Deeper Life Church. But when I, I retired from Minister of Commerce and Industry at Water Court here, I traveled to home. Around 19, uh, 2009, this, started, this uh, sickness started with me. So as I, I reached home, I was not even worshiping with the Deepa Lab again. My wife still continues with the Deepa Lab today. So any crusade that occurred or happened by GS, this my wife would like to carry me go. Even I hold her, I tell her that I hold her, but I return the same. He took me to many, many, many places, struggled, struggled to see that I will see the road. Because she is struggling, is, is working alone. Our occupation at my home, farming and fishing. This man will cut bush and plant by herself. And I am not supporting her. Even as we come here for this crusade, she was dragging me to see. If we don't meet up, it will be very difficult for me to sit down. But she must surely see that I will sit down. It is yesterday when this thing happens. Even the Thursday which we come, I was, I was annoyed because I see many things happen. I say, ah, uh -uh. I call on my wife, say, what is this now? Tell it's us your problem. So now, as she said, I should wait until my time. As I pray this evening, uh, I see sign to see that my hour was not, I've seen road. So praise the Lord. They test you now. Yes. Okay. Can you see now? Yes. Close one of your eyes. Yes. Close this one first. No, wait now. No, wait. Wait, wait. Close it. Do like this. This yeah, do like this. Close it. Have a... Wait. How many fingers is this one? It's five. And now? One. Okay, let's try this other one. Close this one. Close this eye. How many fingers are these now? Look at me. One. Let him go. No, he cannot open the two eyes. Okay, go. Next person. Praise the Lord. He believes God has touched him. It will manifest. The next testifier is Mrs. 
Hannah James. No. We hate you. Sister has a testimony to give us. You will give your testimony now because your card is not. Praise the Lord. My name is Inhechi Favor, so they are cooking. I'm from Elimutu District. Rumodara, Deeper Life Bible Church, Nigeria. And I want to testify to the glory of God. This testimony happened at Showers of Blessing Crusade. During that time, before that time, I was having hotness of the head. My head was hurting me seriously. When it comes like this, the only way, the only way I can help myself is to go to the bathroom and be pouring water, or I carry water outside and be pouring, pouring on my head. That is the only way I can get myself. And when it's happening like that, the whole body too will still be hurting me, and I will be disorganized. This thing disturbed me, but by the grace of God, during this program, I cried to God. I cried to God, and the Lord visited me. Praise the Lord. And another one happened during Bayasa Crusade. That time I was, see, Ulster has been disturbing me for some time now, like three years. So it has been disturbing me so much. To the point it will come here and be in this place. Sometimes to breathe will be a very difficult thing. The back as well, I've been suffering all this pain. But I prayed to God. During that Bayasa Crusade, the Lord touched me. And the manifestation came at the first day of this particular retreat. Because after that crusade, that time I received the healing. It started again on Tuesday after I ate Akara and slept. So it started again. I was surprised in the morning, in this particular day, this particular retreat, the first day being Thursday. I was so weak. It was pinning here, disturbing me, disturbing me. I will eat. It's as if I've not eaten. It was disturbing me so much. So I have to lie down. By the grace of God, my children helped me do some things. Then they prayed for me during the time of the crusade. I said, okay, let us go for the crusade. As we went there, I said, God, as I want to eat this food, let your power come upon it. And this thing that has been disturbing me, since I've received the healing, Father, confirm it. And as soon as I just ate the food, when I got to the house, lo and behold, us had disappeared forever in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I am here to confirm this. This morning, from morning till 3 o'clock, I did not eat anything, and nothing happened to me any longer. Praise the Lord! Osa disappeared. The next person? Our sister uh, Hannah James had fibroid, high blood pressure, hypertension, and cholesteremia for nine years. After the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, all those symptoms disappeared. Hannah, please tell your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. This night, though yesterday I was feeling the fibroid movement in my stomach yesterday, I couldn't sleep too well. This evening, the thing was still moving. I said, God, I came to meet my father. I can't go with the sickness. Behold, cough was there. I have, I have BP also, and God healed me this evening. Cholesterol was healing this evening. Because if I cannot talk well, I can't even breathe. So talking is a problem. But now people can see me talking. You can see me as talking your praise. God have done it for me. I can, if I don't explain, it will, it will be too long. As I met our father in the Lord, my father in the Lord. That's my daddy. I call him my daddy. 
day and night. And this night, I had to give God all the glory because it is done. If I was there for seven years, seven good years, if I was there, this high breathing, it's lasted for two years. It's like cholesterol. BP is this making six years for BP. But this night, God's miracle take place in my life. I say, all the glory. Lost to God Almighty. Amen. Satan is wicked. All the Lord is back in our life. God has offloaded everything. The same thing with you if you are still in that condition, they are offloaded. Our next testifier, Sister Enes Dakoro, who had hepatitis B, virus infection, had peptic ulcer disease, and uh, pneumonia for four years. He has gone to the hospital, and uh, all the tests they have done, they have even repeated the tests. And by the grace of God, on Thursday, the very first day of this retreat, after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, all the symptoms of hepatitis, the symptoms of ulcer, all gone. Tell your story, your new narrative. group um, Botakot region I've been very sick for years and uh, presently in I'll, life situations you may need to temporarily presently I was diagnosed of having hepatitis B and before then I've been going to hospital almost every month and they'll be treating typhoid and malaria and before you know it all the hairs in my body became yellow my finger became yellow I couldn't eat. Uh, the nurse said it has got into a stage. All my lymph, the lymph node became swollen. Most of you don't know what is lymph. is when you have injury, that swollen thing at your joint. From my neck to my toe, it was swollen. They said after this stage, it has got into the cancer stage. So, but I didn't know what to do. I've done the test they asked me to do. I've started taking the drugs. Then the biasa crusade, the, thurs, um, the first day, the Thursday, they asked me to repeat all the tests I did last year, this year, and the money is so much, I didn't know what to do. So, when the, uh, the, as the program started, I entered the hall, I dropped the results on the seat, and I invited all the sicknesses, every report, I said, come and sit down. Today, we are going to hear the word of God. So, the moment the pastor came up, he just said the topic... Um, full and free um, freedom through faith in Christ Jesus. As he was just doing the introduction, I'll be looking at the document. I'll be looking at the document as though I'm seeing all the sicknesses because I was having hypotension, I was having ulcer, I'll be having problem with the kidneys, I'll be having problem with the liver, I'll be having problem again with the reproductive system, the muscles of my body, everywhere my head, my high, my teeth has changed. It's even brown, if you can see it. They are all brown. So they're telling me after this stage, it's going to be the cancer stage. So, but as I dropped it, I'm looking at it. As Pastor is saying, free, total free, so, um, redemption free. That's what I, that is not of your righteousness. It's not because you're committed sin. It is free. I don't need to pay for it. So I looked at it and said, I am free. And before I knew it, before the introduction to say the first point, things just started leaving my body. Like a strange forces from the liver, the kidneys, the stomach. And from them, I started feeling better. Now, when I came to the retreat, I, the, I had to buy a new mattress. They said you should do away with everything you're sleeping with. I bought a new mattress that I still couldn't sleep well. But when I came to the retreat, I, I didn't have a better mattress, but I was just sleeping on four chairs put together, and I slept well like a baby. No frequent urinating. And even when I came out to give the testimony there, all my lymph in the hands were still swollen, and my legs. But as I went back to wait for the message, now they are all dried up. You can see it swollen and dried up. May the name of the Lord be praised. Because I was saying, just me, one me with all the sicknesses. May God's name be praised. 
the, the result is here. It has been, I've gone to done, I did another test, and it has shown that my liver functioning test is normal. It is done. Okay. Doctor, this, no. These are the results. The liver function test, the, the serum, the urea, blood. and creatinine, all the tests here are normal. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. She's free. Now to social media. We have power explosion on the social media. And we begin from Russia. The picture you're about to see on your screen, the gentleman is D. Okeke from Russia. He had excruciating jaw pain. And you recall that tonight, uh, he's pointing to it right now. He said that as our father mentioned after he shared that testimony from Bayosa and mentioned that every pain, every body pain anywhere is gone, he checked up after the prayer, and that jaw pain is totally gone. Praise the Lord. I will take this one from the GS official Facebook page. Bankole Babasonya says that just while the GS was about to pray, and he just mentioned my case, he said, your backbone will be free. Instantaneously, indeed it's a miracle, the backbone pain disappeared and right now i am free and we now take you to south south delta state nigeria delta state nigeria live church praise the lord this testimony is coming to you from udu region delta south delta state standing beside me is brother tejiri deemi who was shot in the leg since last year, February. And after being shot at the leg, surgery was carried out. And since after the surgery, he has not been able to walk without support or with the help of clutches. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday night, he has been able to walk without support or clutches. So I'll give him the mic now to tell us his story. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Ogunetaji with the Menye. I'm from uh, Onguru, uh, Udu local government, Delta State. Delta uh, State. Uh, last year, I say, Mago, my side, Mago, carry my walking tools. Reaching there, I meet a, a security guy. He told me he's. he's Security. So he said, Who I be? He called me, Who I be? I call say, I be Tyler. He called him, I call the landlord. I call call the landlord, number no call go. Then he just sees my phone. Then he just shoot me for my leg. So he shoot me for my leg, finish. Then he can't leave me. He uh, can't leave me. I holler, nobody in the corner and jump, come outside with this up my other leg. So people for the bush, they don't say I be work, man, they work for the place. They call rescue me, call me uh, rush me, go hospital. So since that last step of the con, they got to post some you give me for my leg. Since last step of the con, I never use my leg to work out. I'm using crutches. So uh, our, uh, uh, mama, our mama for compa, for our compa, for our area in Hongoro, uh, invite me in this global retreat. So when I hear deeper life, this deeper life is my childhood church. This is church uh, my uh, mother and my father is going when I'm when I'm small. So I just when I get here since that uh, on on, is it, on Thursday, I'm just believing God that I will leave crushes. Then I will use my two legs to walk. So since uh, uh, on Friday on Friday night. That on Friday night, when pa after Papa finished preaching, he said, shake yourself, uh, sh just shake yourself. Anything you are not be doing, just shake yourself. You will see that God has do done a great miracle for you. So that confidence, I leave the crush and begin to walk with my two legs. So I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Praise the Lord. 
And um, the miracle and the power of the Lord is moving everywhere, but we remain in Delta where we bring you this testimony from Delta South, Sister Faith Prosper from Orekokwe Group, right there in Delta South, who says that she, for eight years she's been having this problem of a growth in an excretory area. And this is accompanied alongside as well with um, body itching and the skin disease. But after the prayer of the man of God, last night, last night, the eight years growth, the body itching, the skin disease, everything vanished. She received the touch of the power, and right now she is free. From there, we go to Bayelsa. Great things are still happening from Bayelsa. Let's take this one, Bayelsa State Live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Victoria Imalue Ntonadi. I am from River State, Ugoni. I reside in Bayasa. I come and testify the goodness of God towards my life. It was during the time of Grover Crusade uh, in Bayasa, on the third day, that God healed me. I've been having diabetes since 1994. During the time that I was delivered, one of my child, that the doctor said that I have diabetes. And since that time, I was, was in trouble, worried. The diabetes did not leave me. I take drugs, do everything. But during the time of this crusade in Bayasa, I was delivered. Praise the Lord. And um, the miracle, we just cannot exhaust them. We have this one from Ju Junwo Arowura, who says that his right leg had been stinging him since 2018 to the point that he was referred to a neurologist. But at a total freedom crusade, while the man of God was praying, he had his case mentioned, and that was the end of that problem. He received his healing, and now he is whole. We we'll take you to Lagos State. The picture on your screen, the lady is Oluchi from Iduro Group in Lagos State. She had been in the hospital with abdominal infection and serious pain. The GS mentioned the infection in the abdomen. And after the prayers, she got her healing. She demonstrated she could turn and she could move around. And she said all the things that drugs could not do. Jesus has done by the power in this hour. We conclude with Cross River State Live. Praise the Lord. There is joy and gladness in my heart this evening. I just want, there are many testimonies the Lord have done for me, but this one that happened in the spot right now. My name is Sister Margaret John Amoko. I'm from Obudu. I want to thank God for what he has done for me just now. As the prayer was going on, as the general of us here was speaking, the last amen, what happened, I was telling God, Father, I can't go back to work here. So the sign, I told God, show me a sign, let me feel your impact. As soon as the state general of us here came, and he started mentioning of the sickness, he now called Henya, is he pie, is he anya? Immediately, he just as if I fell a stroke of a thunder in my tummy. This Henya has been here for nine years, but God has taken me away humbly. Can Henya? Thank you. Put your hands together. It's back to the state of us here. The next testimony. <laughs> We have Sister Abigail Chuku who has been inflicted by peptic ulcer disease for eight years duration. And uh, during the December crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, she received her healing. Testify, sister. 
Judge, praise the Lord. Alalia. My name is Abigail Chuku from Emawa region, in Emawa local government, in Rumuji district, Nigeria. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. Uh, since uh, 88 now, I have been spending money on money from time to time, buying drugs for ulcer. When I heard other people testifying of how God healed them, I was thinking, is it only uh, is it when you testify of the goodness that you, the healing will take place? I was wondering, praying, spending money on this ulcer, which the, the pains, I could not persevere it again. But to the glory of God, in last year, December, during the explosion of Miracle Crusade at uh, Lagos, when our Father in the Lord was praying, that ulcer disappeared from me. Since December to now, I have not had any symptom of ulcer. Even if I did not eat up to 2 o'clock, I am feeling, I am still strong without any feeling of ulcer in my life. May the God who has done it, may his name be glorified in the Jesus' name. Osa Kong. Next testifier is Cypre Wisdom. He is testifying of his sanctification experience gotten during this program. Testify to the glory of the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Before I continue, I would like to read two scriptures and I will make it brief. Okay. By the grace of God, I'm saved. But after my salvation, I needed sanctification. It happened that I have been saved by the grace of God, sanctified and baptized, baptized in the Holy Ghost. But I lost it. So after some time, God granted me mercy and I reconciled back to God. But since then, I seem to lack the faith to receive my sanctification when I have, I have been already saved. So I have been praying about this thing and been hoping for it. But I have not been sure. Something came to my mind. And the thing was that, it's like I'm seeking for experience before believing. And that there is something in me. I'm not willing enough to receive it. My will is not submitted to receive it. So during yesterday, when the, our pastor, our general superintendent, was, like, was preaching, my faith was lifted. So during the prayer, he said that there is three um, levels of prayer that he's going to pray that yesterday, that first prayer. For those people who are born again, they are sure, but they are not sanctified. The experience is, the experience is not sure. He said that we should raise up our hand. So I raised up my hand, and I believe God. And though I behold, I got it. And that is why I came this moment to give the glory to God. Church, praise the Lord. You got it. You got it. The next person now. Bora Favor Bolawa was healed from the fracture of the scapula uh, during this retreat on Thursday, the first day of the retreat. After the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, and he all those pains, he could not move his scapula, everything okay. Testify to the glory of God, my brother. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Good day, mommies and daddy and my distinguished listeners. My name is Favor. I'm from Otueke campus. 
I want to glorify the name of the Lord. I was on the wheels, I was on the bicycle, and I was riding it on the, on the road. So I saw a woman, a woman that was on my way, and I avoided hitting her, and that resulted to my accident. And I somersaulted on that bicycle, and that gave me a fraction of my scapula joint. So I do play drums from the church I was coming from, keyboard, but I was not able to play and work for God. And I've been believing God, and I say that I was believing God that as I come to this global crusade, I will receive my healing. And on the first day of the global crusade, Pastor Kumi he said, wherever you are receiving pains, lay your hands there. And I lay my hands at my scapula joint, and immediately I received a shock as that joint. And I was waiting for, that's why I didn't give the testimony that first day, to see whether the testimony was truly genuine or not. And since then, till now, I can fling my hands, swing it up and down. I say, may the name of the Lord be exalted in Jesus' name. That God who has done for me will do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. The next person. Sister Gloria Wachiku has a one-year-old baby with respiratory distress right from birth. But the narrative changed during the November crusade after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuye. All the distress in Britain disappeared. Sister, tell your story. Praise the Lord. Brother, I'm glad to give. Uh, my name is Sister Glory Wachuku. I'm safe. My testimony goes like this. I noticed um, after two days when I gave birth to my baby, I noticed that she's having kata. I complained to the midwife. He said it to, it to stop. But it's not a thing to stop. The thing increased. Increased. I took her to hospital to government hospital. After three of the they wrote drugs. One of the drugs was in at 5,000 per one. So I was giving her drugs, and they, as I continued giving her drugs, the thing was increasing. If you see the baby, you cannot even, you cannot be happy. I cry all night. I say, God, take care of my baby. So during that showers of blessing crusade, I took my baby there. My husband told me that this baby must surely got her healing. So when we get, when we get there, I saw one young, after the, the first day, one young man was testifying. He said that, um, that his son started from birth. And the brother um, also confirmed it, that he cannot even sleep with him. So the same thing, a little baby like this, when he's breathing, the baby will be gasping for air. When, you, when he's breathing, you cannot even stay there. Everybody will be asking me questions. I, I was almost losing hope because I thought the baby is going. But thank God who restored my baby. That, um, I, I was in that crusade, the last day of the crusade, my husband said, I must get my miracle. But at the end of that day, I didn't get a miracle. I went home disappointed, angry. It's not great at everybody. But my husband said, Papa, in, in his own case, not only I, in the dream that Papa will look at him, everything will be settled. That tonight, if this baby did not get a miracle, that means this showers of blessing have not gone. So that night, as I just slept off. Immediately that, after that prayer, I slept off. I saw, my, I saw Daddy in the Lord. I said, he was praying. Delivering people. I said, Daddy, look at my baby. Look at my baby. That my baby is going. He collected the baby from me. He rebuked that spirit. He said, this spirit, I rebuke you. This death, I command you, leave this baby. After that praying, I woke up. I saw my baby. Breath, calm down immediately. The next morning, I tell you, my baby started walking. Because he was losing strength. I look at the baby today. She's very healthy. I said, God, who has done this for me? May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord appeared and did the miracle. I 
And here we have Ifai Marvelous Igwe, who sustained the fracture of the right leg one year ago and had a, from that's from road traffic accident during the november edition of the global crusade showers of blessings he had his healing after the prayer of the man of god tell your new story now church praise the lord by the grace of god i'm saved my name is uh, Igwe Fine Marvelous. I'm from Ebony State, but I'm working in Portacourt here. So it was 2018. I had a terrible accident. Somebody called me, said he need a drop. He went me to drop them. So they are three in number. So I carried them to Unizik School Gate. So I was following Mercedes. Mercedes 190. So because if you are driving, you have to give space. So I give space. I was following because it's a one lane. As I'm following the vehicle, suddenly the man stopped. No traffic get or it's no no sign of I don't know whether he's trying to branch by the left or by the right. I don't even know. So as I'm following the man, I match brake. My brake fail. I match again, it fail. I pump it, I match again, the thing fail. Then I have to, I, then I turn my steering to my left side, to, to my right side. The immediately I turn my left, so another vehicle which is speed will now jam together. So my, my leg was pieces. So one of the, the other person at the left, the other side, his bone also break. To the extent the bone on the laps come out. So you only two that we are saved, two of them, nothing happened to them. They rushed us to the hospital. So that uh, evening, one of the abro those, those people, one of their brother came to the hospital, started asking them what happened. So the boy told them what's what going on. To what happened? Then to cut the story short, so those people are planning, say you are going to kill this boy in this hospital. We're not going to leave him. So my uncle heard them say, the following day in the morning, my uncle told me that you are, going, you are not going to spend another night in this hospital. So my uncle rushed me immediately that same day to the village where they took. So after they said the bomb, because the bomb break pieces, you can see it. Too. So many people waiting. To give their testimony. So the bone pieces, because in the bone is not in the normal position, I cannot walk up, let me say, uh, 40 minutes to one hour without using cold water to massage my leg. So during the time of shots of blessing last year, November, so I was in the Bible study, they said we are going for publicity. So I was, I wanted to draw back because of my condition. I said, let me just try. So after we do the publicity, so I was even thinking that I'm going to massage my leg again as usual. Lo and behold, save us is dirty now. I can walk from now to tomorrow. Not is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shouts of blessing was October. Now, let's listen to social media. We'll soon be closing. All of you wait. We are going to parade you for the world to see. Over to social media. We take you to Germany, where we have this testimony. From Germany, we have Ellen Pratt, who says she was watching on YouTube. And while the GS was ministering, she said she felt something on her left body. She's been having challenges there for some time now. And just at that instant, the walking object in her body at that time disappeared, and now she is free. Evie Akwediavo from Ghana had a terrible toothache since morning today after the prayers of the man of God. That pain totally gone. And she also wrote, I've been managing these pains very severe since morning. I've been to the dental clinic again and again. But the power for the hour clinic 
made it completely possible. Praise the Lord. And we take this from Enogun Deborah Chuku, who said she's been having difficulty in breathing and she's been having severe chest pain as well. And um, after the prayer of the man of God tonight, she laid hands on the chest and right now she's feeling ease and peace like she's never felt before. We now return to the state of Asia. We have a sister blessing. He had asthmatic bronchial asthma for a period of five years. But on Thursday when she came to this meeting, the hand of the Lord touched her and she was healed after the prayer of the man of God. Tell your details. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Fagwe the Blessing. I'm from Salvation Group. It started around in 2020. Anytime the rains fell, like I'll be, my, like it would it would be as if my breath won't, my brain want to seize. Then when it started like that, my mom would have told me that I should collect money to go and buy drugs. So I was on drug. Anytime the rain wants to fall like this, I would have go and buy my truck in case because immediately the rain starts falling, I must only leave that spot. And I don't normally use the drugs in morning or daytime. I normally use it in the evening because because of the power. Because whenever I use it in the morning to be as if I'm walking that I want to fall. So I normally use it in the evening time. So last month I traveled down from on the states. Uh, to Port Harcourt here with one of our pastors. So immediately I get here, he said that a, a, a pastor in the Lord is coming to Port Harcourt. So I now say to my mother that this is a great opportunity because this is my first time of seeing him. So on Thursday, when I was sitting there, I got my healing. Then for me to confirm, I was supposed to come out on Thursday to come and give the testimony, but I tried to stay back. So I tried to stay back to confirm. And on Friday, uh, on, is it Friday or Saturday, the rain fell. So luckily we were in the youth hall, we were praying. If it's before, if the rain is falling, I dare not leave that spot. Or if I must not leave that spot, if the rain is falling, I will lie down or I sit down. So anytime this thing happened when I was in my state, my mom would start crying. But there is one thing, you know, whenever the thing happens to me, I only have this kind of thing in mind that the songwriter says, when the storms rise against your soul, do not fear. In the day with the night, through the darkest night, I'll be there. Never fear, I'll be there for you. Never fear, I will carry you through. So anytime the things happen, this thing continues in my mind that when the storm rises against the soul, do not fear. In the day, in the night, through the darkest night, I'll be there. Never fear, I'll be there for you. So even today, the rain even fell today, and I don't feel any sign like... <laughs> and I said, the name of God be glorified, because the same way that says what God cannot do does not exist, and it can never, never exist. You are here. Praise the Lord, because of time, the rest of you line up. I am told tomorrow morning, after the message, we'll be given opportunity to give our testimony. So by the grace of God, you'll be here tomorrow morning to give your testimony. So please, let's give them numbers, so that tomorrow, we we'll give them the privilege to testify. Let's listen to the last one now for tonight. Our brother Alexander Atama has been having athletic feet. He is a fungal infection for about seven years. After the prayer of the man of God, our pastor, pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, he was totally healed. Tell your new story. Praise the Lord. I'm Atam Alexander from 
Igwe Island District, Igwe Island Group, Rumeme Old Group, here in Portakot Region, River State, Nigeria. I want to appreciate the Lord for what God has done for me. Uh, about March 2015, I, I just discovered I had uh, an injury under my foot. So I, I didn't take it seriously, though, because I felt usually I will allow my body to heal myself. But towards the end of the year, I discovered the wound was still there and it was very painful. So when I, uh, I now went to the hospital and told a doctor, so the doctor looked at, observed me very well and said it was an athletic foot. So they gave me drugs I took. The following year, I, I still went again, they gave me injection and continuously like that. It wasn't, it wasn't getting healed at all. Then another doctor which I met said the injury could go if I will not use shoe, if I will not put on shoe, if I will just expose the, the, the wound and because he said it was, uh, an, uh, it was an anaerobic microorganism that was the causative agent, so I shouldn't wear anything. That it will only survive when there's heat, but if I expose it to the atmosphere, to air, it will die off. But by virtue of my work, I have to put on shoe for almost all through the week, except weekends. And even at weekend, I have to put on shoes to church. So it, it has been very, very challenging. But during the lockdown, since we weren't going anywhere, the wound left. But as we were relieved of the lockdown, it came again because I started wearing my shoes. So um, when we heard that, Pastor, our daddy in the Lord was coming to Port Harcourt for this retreat. I prayed and I said, God, I don't want this thing to continue. So on Thursday, while we were sitting there, our daddy prayed and he said, wherever we have the problem, we should uh, place a hand on it and raise the second up. So that was what I did exactly. And um, after that Thursday, the second Friday, I wore my shoe throughout without any pain. Then Saturday and today Sunday, I've been wearing my shoes. I have not had those pain again. I am here to return the glory to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So as you can see, my shoes is here on me. I don't have any pain again, and I am free. Praise the Lord. We rise up now to glorify the Lord for the descent of his power, for the move of his power, for the glory he has bestowed on this very campground. Let's Time in the name of Lord, let's worship him. Let's tell him we are grateful. Bless him. Thank him because your miracle is permanent. Those who have not given tomorrow, they give their testimonies. Expect God to visit you even as you live here now, he will continue to visit you. He has visited you already. The manifestation will go along with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your kindness, for your power, for all you have done. Receive the glory in Jesus' name. Lord, it's only little we have had. The testimony will continue to be coming in from every part of the world in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray our Father in the Lord you have used as your word has rightly said as his yes are, so his strength will be. We pray, Lord, that more of your grace, more of your strength, more of your enablement upon his life in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray 
that as he has come here, let there be transfer of the power upon many of your children in Jesus' name. That everyone here will be a carrier of your power to every region, to every city, to every village, in River State, in Jesus' name. Not only River State, the whole of Nigeria. Outside Nigeria, beyond Africa, thank you, Lord, because we know the move of your revival is spreading everywhere. Receive the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You are blessed. Sit down. You are going to eat before you go.